Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in the engine technology series. Um, it's a little bit of a techie one um, but um, well I hope it's going to be very useful. It's all about how to uh, compile and uh, then use the Crystal engine. Um, what is Crystal? Well, um, anyone who's uh, watched the TCC will have noticed that the TCC always had this red engine called Crystal um, looking at the position and also kibitzing and analyzing. What is Crystal's uh, strength? Crystal is a forker stockfish, but that specializes in fortress detection. So um, whereas um, um, all sorts of engines can uh, struggle to determine whether an ending really is drawn, whether a fortress exists or not, Crystal is able to do that. It's optimized for that. Now, in general, it's uh, slightly weaker than normal stockfish in normal positions. But um, yeah, for uh, uh, specific fortresses, for specific tactics, it can often be a lot stronger. Um, so sounds exciting doesn't it an extra tool but um, there's a little bit of a problem to it um, that is that um, um, crystal um, in actual fact is um, uh, not actually available as um, just an executable like you get uh, from uh, from stockfish what you get is you get the uh, source code don't worry i'll put the links in the uh, the details to the video so you don't need to uh, frantically write them down um you get the uh, the source code um and then when you extract this source code um what you're actually going to see here is that um you've got um the uh, the sources here so all the stuff that goes up to uh, to make it but nothing executable that you can import into your gui like uh, skid versus pc or chess base so what we're going to do um we are going to have a little look about how to do that now um you know the normal big disclaimers uh, apply here anything you do on your computer is at your own risk before uh, downloading anything virus scan it um with an up-to-date virus scanner and uh you know before you install anything on your pc make sure you've got backups and a restore point uh, for for windows um, you know all the normal precautions because yeah it's at your own risk but of course you know all I can say is that I've done this on my PC and uh, it worked fine so you know there's at least one person for whom this has worked but uh, yeah you know do be careful don't uh, mess up your PC if you've got something important to do um, you know just uh, be very careful um, now what we've actually got um, we have actually got some excellent instructions here um, from um, this website um, and these are the ones we're going to follow essentially what we're going to do we are going to um, uh, install an environment that enables us to compile these uh, these files and then we're going to compile so um, not so bad um, what we're actually going to do we're first of all going to uh, install the environment that'll be the uh, the next little sequence that I'll show you then afterwards we are going to uh, compile stockfish normal first of all uh, just to uh, to check to see how it goes and then afterwards we'll get on to uh, to crystal which should all work uh, quite well hopefully um, yeah, so do take a look at these instructions. Um, here it gives you the um, uh, the link of where you can downstall this um, uh, installer for the uh, environment that's going to uh, support compilation. Um, well, just click on that and start the install and then join me for the next video where I just take you through that uh, that process. Okay, let's uh, let's do it. So once again, a little reminder before doing anything on your system, make sure that you virus scan any files that you download, that you make backups and also a restore point in Windows before you install anything. Remember, anything you do on your own PC is at your own risk. But let's have a look. After clicking on the executable, we just follow the uh, next next finish um, procedure. Um, recommended by the um, uh, Stockfish installations to put um, the uh, installation files into C tools uh, Mrs. 64 so why not do that uh, the next steps are pretty self-explanatory um, and then uh, leave that checks box run MC 64 bit now because what that will do that will open up a prompt um, and in there you put in this lovely command pacman 
space dash S Y U U. And what that will do, that will download an awful lot of the uh, packages that are required. Now, what actually happened to me um, proceeded nicely, but then you can just see at the top, I got a little error message saying that um, uh, not all the files have been synchronized or downloaded. I've had that a few times, simply run the command again, and then afterwards, um, uh, yeah, you know, just uh, it all sort of happens and um, installs. I said, proceed with installation. Yes, again, once again, remember to make your backups and uh, do your virus scans uh, before uh, uh, installing anything on your, on your system. Um, and then afterwards, it just sort of proceeded, downloaded quite a bit of stuff, as you can see. Um, and uh, in the end, it got there completely. So what that, does that actually mean? That actually meant that um, everything that I need in order to compile uh, Stockfish uh, and Crystal, that was uh, actually all on my system. Now, um, the basic procedure that, I, that we're gonna follow afterwards um, is that first of all, we're going to uh, compile normal Stockfish because that also updates quite a bit of stuff. Um, and then once we've done Stockfish, we just go ahead and compile um, crystal. So let's have a look how that goes. Right, okay, so we have installed our uh, compilation environment and uh, updated it a little bit with a Pac-Man command, feeling very good about ourselves. So now we're going to uh, actually go ahead and doing Stockfish and um, um, what, they stop, what they actually provide is um, a very nice um, uh, little way of uh, um, of, of having everything done automatically for you. So all you need to do is uh, copy the script, which is a little bit lower on the page. I'll take the one for 64-bit windows. Whack. I'll open up my favorite text editor, which is Notepad, of course. There we are, and just save it. And we're gonna save it as make file, make fish dot sh. I've done that one already for myself, as you can see. But um, just make sure that you have the uh, save as type to all files so that you can add the .sh extension there. Absolutely cool. Then afterwards, we are going to check what they say. They say then uh, start one of these shells. Um, and we, there we are. We are going to navigate to the, um, uh, the place where we've got that makefish.sh. Let's have a look. Should have cleaned it up before, but there we are. We're there actually. Just notice that um, um, this is a sort of a Unix environment. So you're, you're actually navigating, uh, you can navigate back um, just using the uh, CD command, space dot dot, you go back. And then if you want to, uh, to navigate somewhere, you can just uh, go all the way there. Um, and then let's do CD compile SF video. And there we are. So we are there. So we've got our file and we put in the command bash. That's the uh, uh, the script environment that we're using. Um, bash and then make file make fish dot sh. Let's have a look. Go for it. Um, now, what um, uh, Stockfish is going to, uh, to do there, what the script is going to do, it is going to uh, make sure that everything is up to date, which is very important. Um, then it's going to just download the Stockfish files from uh, the master. So these are the very last Stockfish files that, um, uh, that uh, are available. So, I mean, you really get the latest version here. Um, then it's going to download the neural net that uh, Stockfish uses downloading that for you again it'll take the very last one and then it's going to put it all together into one stockfish executable um so just to remind you why we're doing this this isn't crystal but i just wanted to uh, um show you the um uh, the procedure first of all and with all those scripts that um uh, that are provided here we make sure we've got all the very latest versions of everything that we need to compile stockfish so there we are, it's all happening. Um, what's the advantage of uh, compilation like this? You get the latest versions and it's also completely um, uh, perfect for the PC you're running it on. So normally speaking, you should have the very best performance basically for your PC through this. 
So uh, as you can see, lots of uh, text coming up. All of these files, uh, um, you know, that it's um, uh, that it's um, uh, uh, that are in the directory. Um, it's all, uh, you know, <laughs> putting all these together. And um, here we are. We are going to end up with something quite beautiful in the end. We let's have a look. Uh, let's go to our directory and. If everything has gone well, we have our Stockfish executable perfectly uh, tailored to our system. Um, all right, that's not so bad. So um, let's now uh, do uh, something similar for Crystal. So um, I downloaded Crystal from, uh, from here. Um, I downloaded the zip file for a Windows system. Um, and then afterwards, I um, um, I went to uh, uh, yeah this directory, and I've um, extracted it to Stockfish. And you can see again, this is pretty similar. We've got um, all of this, and we've actually got a, a make file in this directory here. And uh, so we're not going to use the same script as before. We're just going to use um, uh, just a, a more simple command, but it's going to uh, to work just as well. So um, I want to navigate to uh, this directory, uh, compile crystal video, stockfish 3.2 SRC. Let's have a little look. Go back to our environment. Um, we'll go back a little bit. We then we'll go to uh, compile uh, crystal video. Da, da, da. We're going to go to stockfish. 3.2 that's the uh, the crystal version uh, we're going to go to CD source there we are um, and now we are going to uh, create our um, um, our uh, crystal executable um, now do I have the command here already that would be amazingly good using the the up key in order to go through everything I think we do so uh, this is the command that you need to use. So make minus J build, and then the architecture, um, that really depends on your PC. Um, I think most modern PCs will simply run the uh, the BMI2 version. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, I mean, there's, um, there's uh, um, on the website, they, um, uh, um, there's actually the, um, uh, the very simplest, sorry, I'm, uh, muttering there to myself there's the very simplest way of um, of making a build um, and modern is the probably the slowest build of stockfish that will run on uh, on pretty much anything but um, well I'm going for a little bit faster than that build arch 86 BMI 2 comp bah, 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 and enter and uh, we will see that um, it's going to chug a little bit and now it's downloading a different net I have to have a little look to see um, uh, or maybe I can uh, somebody if somebody knows actually whether um i could actually use the latest net of um uh of stockfish with this because uh, this is not the latest net um so um but okay i mean uh, maybe it's all tailored to each other and uh, crystal uh, is designed to use a certain uh, neural net of um of uh, of stockfishes so we'll uh, we'll uh, I'll, if anyone actually knows that that would be very nice to know but it's going to be downloading and um that's going to take uh, um, just a little bit of while it's 40 megs uh, I've got a reasonably fast connection but I'm also uh, uh, broadcasting at the same time um, and then afterwards it's going to do its magic bom, 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 bom. we using all those files putting them together juggling them around doing all the magic that uh, compilers do and then afterwards we are going to end up with um, a beautiful crystal.exe there we are Let's have a look. Do we believe it? This is all, <laughs> I'm doing this all live. Crystal.exe, there we are. It's left it there in the directory that I did it. So um, uh, what do you then do? Well, you just take your favorite uh, chess program. Let me just uh, show you uh, chess base. That's how I did it there. Um, chess base, I uh, do new. You do create UCI engine. Um, as you can see, I've already uh, added one already here, uh, but you just search for it. You select Crystal. Um, uh, I just moved it to a different directory. That's why it's looking like that. You select Crystal, and then you uh, can select the parameters. And what you end up with 
um, is, um, well, you end up with crystal here. There we are. And if you look at the parameters, what have I got? I've got uh, eight gigs of, uh, of hash on there. Um, and engine parameters, you've got uh, the normal things. I've put 12 threads on there um, of my uh, 16 I've got. And um, uh, here it's using this uh, NNUE file. And it's also going to be using the, uh, the SIGI um, table basis, which is also quite, uh, quite important. So I'll just uh, save that. Configuration. Here we are. And then the moment of truth. Load engine. All happening live. All scary. And we're off. And we've got crystal. So, um, as I said, you know, in normal play, uh, slightly weaker than uh, than uh, the normal stockfish, but in end games will really come into its own with fortress detection and also with unusual tactics uh, discovery. So, even in very complicated positions, it sometimes finds stuff that normal stockfish won't. So, um, yeah, there we are. That was uh, a rather techy explanation of um, how to. Um, um, how to uh, um, uh, compile and, and install, well, actually both Stockfish and Crystal. Um, but I hope that's uh, sort of um, clear, you know, and uh, I hope that's given you at least some, some good pointers to do it. It's, um, I mean, I'm an IT guy, so um, I always assume that I should be able to do this stuff. Um, you know, uh, but, um, but still, I don't think it's incredibly complicated and the instructions are very good and hopefully this gives you some pointer for how to do it. Um, once again, though, remember, at your own risk, make backups, scan the uh, files with, uh, with antivirus just to make sure that everything's good on your PC. If you're not sure about it, don't mess up your PC. You know, it's not worth it. Um, but if you're, um, you know, a bit technical savvy and you're confident of doing it, then, uh, yeah, this is actually a very, very useful addition to, uh, uh, to your army of engines. All right, everyone, if you enjoy the video, ah, please give me a like and subscribe maybe to the channel. Also take a look at um, my new book, The Silicon Road to Chess Improvement, which is making use of all this stuff, basically. And, um, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, I also provide actually on the new in chess silicon uh, Silicon Road site. I also provide some uh, some written work instructions about how to do this sort of stuff. Um, and otherwise, well, you know, thanks very much for watching, and see you at the next video.